Intriguing video, and now to elaborate more on it, we welcome to the studio the man who shot it, Mr. Martin Isaacs. Thanks for being here, sir. Thanks for having me. Okay, what do you do for a living, sir? Well, I'm a researcher and filmmaker for the Australian Marine Biodiversity Project. That's an organization dedicated to protecting our coastal environment. And how did you get involved in Drake's investigation? Well, Colin contacted our agency and a lot of other ocean-based organizations asking us to let them know if they saw any unusual shark sightings. So when I got this on video, I, I called. All right. Tell us about this footage. Well, um, I was in Western Australia. It was in March uh, during the shark cull. I was diving. All right. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's a shark cull? Oh, but that, that's a, a new policy this year where they're catching and uh, disposing of large predatory sharks in areas where uh, people have been killed recently. Okay, like thinning the herd kind of thing. Yeah, okay. yeah, it, it, it's pretty controversial. They say they're just doing it this once, but, you know, who knows. Right. So you're documenting this. How? Well, I'd go out on the water and film the harvest whenever it was happening. And when it wasn't, I went diving with schools of great whites to get some beauty shots. All right, let's take a look at that footage once again. All right, all right, yep, here we are. We were just shooting these clips to celebrate the, the grace and beauty of these animals. And then you caught this. Right. Yeah, I, I saw some shark go by that, that didn't quite fit in. What'd you make of this thing? Well, at first I, I thought it was a great white with some kind of skin condition or, I don't know, it had sustained damage. Drake, did you have the same initial assessment? What was yours? Well, it certainly is the size of a great white, but there's more going on than just the skin. Take a closer look at its back. Okay. You can see bumps along its spine. Right there on both sides, right? Yeah, that's okay. more than just an abnormality. That's a, a genetic structural difference in its cartilage, which suggests a much sturdier animal. So in your estimation, this is not a great white. No, and there's something else, too. Uh, take a closer look at that pectoral fin. Okay. Right. On the back edge, right near the body, you see that point? Yeah. That doesn't fit the taxonomy of great whites either, or any other large shark known today. But it does match another animal. If we could get that picture back up. The freeze frame. Yeah. All right, so here's the freeze frame from Jake Skelton's sailing footage, right? And right over there, right near the body, well, I'll be darned. A point on the pectoral fin. Yeah. This is the same species, just a much bigger animal, which means that the shark in Australia is not an adult gray white, it's a baby megalodon.